they will uh, to fix this problem as we proceed. Commissioner? I, 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 personally, from my point of view, it's not so much the religion or the group of people that uh, are wanting to come into our country. I think more concerning to me is how can we address anyone coming to our county? How can, do we have the medical facilities to facilitate a group of people coming here? Do we have the, the, the ability for them to get to schools like they would need to do? Do we have uh, employment for them? Because they need to try to make a living. Do we have uh, a way to make sure that they're safe as well as we're safe? And I think what we need to do as a community is relay our abilities one way or the other to the governor, support the governor in his decision, but to let them know that we really aren't in a position to be able to facilitate large groups or any groups of any size coming to our county. We just don't have the infrastructure in place. We don't have the available housing. We don't have the available housing right now for people moving into the company and starting up a business for the most part if they're going to need employees. That is, is what our role here is, is to be able to address how could we facilitate our own public as well as any anybody else coming into this. How, what can we do as a county? Our tax base, what's going to support them? How could we support anybody, any religion, coming into our county? Any groups of people coming to our county? And that's where I, th I think we fail as a candidate for allowing large groups of migrating people to come to our community. We don't have the stuff in place that would be able to support their coming here. So the religion thing, to me, is mute. It's, it's the facts that we are a struggling county as it is. We don't have the medical facilities to, to, to help people get through some of these hard times. We don't have the school opportunity. We don't have the linguistics opportunities here. And when it all boils down through everything, that will ultimately fall on our laps as a community to be able to come up with a way to fund all this. After, after the federal government comes and they lay their, their, their money out to start with, to begin with, that ends somewhere down the line. So our community isn't adept to this kind of thing, if you ask me. And th that, to me, is where we need to support the governor as best we can in his decisions, because ultimately any funding to us would come from, from our state government.